Test, 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 test. Okay, so I gotta tell you this. This is really funny. I'm on the Redbubble site. I'm looking at different um, different products, and this one kind of stands out to me for some reason. You know, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it, especially from far away. I mean, tell me you don't see the same thing when you look at that. It looks like a penguin, doesn't it? So I thought it would be really, really funny is to create a penguin out of that tote bag. Basically, the outline's already there for me, so all I need to do is just add some artwork to the tote bag to make it look like a penguin. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. <laughs> so I'm using, this is one of my designs right now on the tote bag along with some other things that I have. But that from far away just really shouted out at me. And that's the way I think. And that's what I love about being creative is that sometimes you look at something that just someone on the on the street would say, hey, that's a tote bag. But me, I see something more than that. I see something that's funny. It's already got a little bit of a slouch there built into it. it this looks kind of like, like the feet in a, in a lot of ways. And all I can see right now is just drawing a little head right there that he slouched over and with his beak down and then maybe some wings, some flippers down here. And that's it. And I'm going to try it and see what happens. I mean, so you're going to, I'm going to take you through that process of now I just got that idea. I saw something out that I could do to make it look fun. And, and, uh, so what's my first, what's my first goal? Typically people would write some notes down and my first goal is, okay, I've done a greeting card about penguins before. So I could either use that artwork. So I'm going to take a look at that. Okay, so I found uh, my greeting card for Christmas, but it, it kind of looks like what I want to do, um, but not quite. So I might do something like over here, how that how that flipper comes down. But I really want him to be looking down because look, the tote bag looks like he's slouched over. So I can't really use this card. So now the best thing for me to do is go to Google Images and look up some famous penguins that we can look at um, as reference. Um, there's really nothing here that I like. I mean, they're all cute, don't get me wrong. But there's really nothing here to use as a reference. I think I might actually just have to go for the real thing. Let's see. The next thing I would look at is Happy Feet. Are there any images in Happy Feet that could work? And I'm not really seeing anything here. Um, I remember that documentary on penguins. Um, let's see what else I can find. There's some penguins here. This is kind of what I'm looking for. I really want the dead on, straight on shot. Maybe something more like this. Uh, here, this is might be the one to, to do. So the way I would do that is, as a reference only, this looks like probably the closest thing right now in fact I might even include that little guy in there as well so I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna do a screenshot which on Mac is command shift 4 I think on the Windows it's just print screen and now this is copywritten so I'm not going to take that image exactly but I'm gonna do a variation of the image in my own illustrative uh, sense so Let's use that. And people, artists use this all the time. Everybody from Pixar to Disney use reference materials. They go out and look at live. They take pictures. They, I mean, it's crazy. So um, I don't have to worry about copyright because I'm not using the exact image. Just a variation of maybe my interpretation of this image. Um, so what we're going to do is take a screenshot of that. Now I'm going to go back into Photoshop. In Photoshop, here's the image. I'm probably not going to use this exact one. In fact, I probably won't put any of the shading in and that type of thing. But I, I just want the overall look to see if I'm making sure that I'm doing the right thing. I'll probably even change the color of the nose and make this, this beak a little bit wider. So I did start a drawing earlier, even before I looked at any image. I thought maybe I should go look at some images. So here is um, what I came up with. This is the, the actual tote bag in the background. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just 
do something like this. If I go back to the other image, you can see that's almost all white here. And with a little bit of black here and his head. It's pretty symmetrical. So I don't even need to think I even need to look at this anymore. But it's a good gauge just to make sure that I'm doing it right. And this actually is a beautiful image by looks like Pal Hermensen. Um, so I'm going to just see if I can come up with um, a design. So let's take a look at my drawing. And I'm going to... I'm on my Wacom Intuis. And I'm just going to start comping out the... Um, now the only thing I didn't do that I should have done is created a new layer. So what I'm going to do is put a new layer in there now. And or I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'll just remove any excess pieces. Uh, duplicate layer. And then I can just uh, go in here and remove any excess stuff that I don't need. So we're working off this right here. And um, I'm going to hide that layer behind. And again, any take anyway, anything that doesn't belong. And you know, this, this may not be the right way to do it. This is the way I know. This is the way I'm pretty much self-taught so I just do what I what I know and um, I've got the yellow in there and I think I'm just gonna grab the black as well and I might even change that as well so let's see if I can get some color here there so I got the two colors well like doing doing it that way is some people will put a color up here and a color up here and just you know I can still do that as well in case I lose these two images. Um, you use that. Typically what you do is you just click on that. And there's your one color. And then you I'm gonna switch this and And this is my live layer that I'll be working on. So I'm, I'm going to kind of play around with some ideas right now. So why this is so slow. All right, all right, all right. Okay. No, I'm not Matt McConaughey. Um, this is Nick again, part two of our penguin drawstring bag. I found out it was a drawstring bag and not a tote bag. So I just, I'm still not sure whether I'm going to do, put the little guy down here and see how it, the regular penguin works out first. And as you can see, my, my beak here is a little bit off. And so I'm going to try to adjust that. And so I'm just going to do the best here I can to try and get some uh, semblance of a, uh, a penguin. My computer has been a little bit slow. So I'm hoping that it's going to do much better for me and I'm just going to take back the, um, the beak and you know it's okay when you're when you're doing stuff to not worry about it you don't have to make everything perfect because you can always go back and do it again but we try to minimize that as much as possible especially when you're working on tight deadlines as I am I've got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to put out, but um, this just was too, just too cool to look at, not do, not to do. And I think I might just go, if I just use that as a reference, that's not a very good reference. Um, uh, see if I had like regular, this thing would be like this, so I could go like that. Let's see if I go back a little bit here. Go back to my history. If I erase this right here. I 
I can get rid of that white now. I'm just covering up something before. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this too for right now because I'm not going to, I'm not sold 100% on what that is. So, can't see his eyes there at all. But I could throw in some blue. Give a little bluish tinge, purplish tinge. And um, again, I'm, I'm no expert. This is just something that looks like it could be fun. And this is kind of like what I'm going at. I'm trying to get some some color in here a little bit. You know, like the bag really is up here. But this, this gives a nice little bit of extra color. I can always blend that later. So I'm going to, you're not going to hear my voice right now. I'm going to be doing some work. But I will do a little bit of a voiceover afterwards. And I may stop the tape and actually move things along. But that image but it's good to have reference to kind of get an idea of what you want you think you want to do so there I'm drawing the head I get some uh, room there for the eyes start drawing the flippers and uh, I was really proud of the way this actually even though I never used this part of the image very proud of the way it came out the shading came out really well in fact I even saved this image so that wouldn't uh, maybe I can use it for some something else as you see the, the form is starting to take shape put the feet in and what's really cool is the, how the shading came out I just really thrilled how that really came out um, like I said before I'm not an expert I just kind of do what feels right but I think that's that's okay everybody can do their artwork <clears throat> the way they want to so as you can see, there's the the, sh the shading. <laughs> Actually, looks like he's got some form now. Uh, it's a natural shade. It just came out really, really nice. Even though I never used this, I'll probably go back and fine tune this one part piece of artwork because it's really cute. And who knows what? Maybe this will be a, another character in my arsenal. So I'm gonna go on to this is finished, almost finished. We'll be going to the next video to seeing the final artwork. Okay, welcome to part three of the penguin video. Um, I had a lot of computer issues. I couldn't do the actual showing you how I got from this point to the next point to the next point, unfortunately. But what was interesting I noticed is that when I, when I was originally drawing this, and you can see it right here, I was drawing it to this finished bag the cinched bag of the drawstring already being cinched together which is what grabbed my attention in the first place and so when I placed this artwork on the it actually didn't look like this at all when I well it did look like this but I thought if I do it this way it's just not gonna work as well what if I actually design it to the square image and that's what it was it was a square image of a drawstring bag and I figured if they're gonna cinch it to make it if this will look like a penguin this way then once they cinch the artwork it will naturally fit to this image and that's what I did so I'm gonna go back and show you on Facebook or not Facebook but um, so this is again this is going a couple steps backwards I this is the way I had to do it then if you remember correctly uh, and the next video part two this is kind of where I left off and so I was looking at it and I was thinking okay I had some eyeballs and stuff and it still wasn't where I wanted it to be I started playing around with the penguin although I like him I didn't really finish him off I kind of just left him duplicated this layer and then I went into a different area altogether and, did, um, and I'm really happy with what happened so I went from this to this and this is I believe this is the finished piece so all I did is I went in and this was the these were the dimensions of the bag so I filled it in with black I threw in some more shading 
Um, probably not enough shading actually in here. Some of this shading's missing. And then I went back and um, let me see, look at that for a second. Yeah, you know what I might do? I might actually take some of that shading and bring it down and make it even better. Right now it's up, but I, I might, I really like the way there's that showed up. Let me take a look, closer look at that. Oops, going the wrong way. That whole part is missing. So I'm going to see if I can pull that. So if I go into this layer, which is currently locked, because I like the eye. I mean, it looks cool now, but I think it's going to look even better. So I'm going to copy that. Go down into my other artwork, paste it on top. So I have to move this layer to the top of the layer. And let's, oops. I'm going to grab it. Oh, yeah. 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 So that, I think I'll do that like this. And then this part will be moved even more oh yeah it looks much better now it looks more like a neck so that and I'll do even a little bit more blending that's the smudge tool and so that's what we're gonna do cool so I'm glad I did this video I'm going to Schmudge it with types, file type names. And so if I go back here, just I want to kind of go through a little bit what I did so you can see some of the decisions I made. I decided to get rid of the other penguin and added this new one. It just looks really cute, isn't he? He's going kind to of looking up to him. There's a little connection there. And, um, his feet are kind of small. The only thing he's missing is a tail, but I don't know what to do with that yet, so I just left it alone. So once I brought it out into the square, it looked a lot better. So when I put it on the artwork, it did exactly what I thought it would do. It's it's cinched right along with the artwork, and it just came out really awesome. So now the finished piece, I can show you. There's the finished piece. Isn't that cool? So this is on Redbubble, and um, even have enough room. You can kind of barely see it there, but you can have a little room for my my copyright notice. And then it's on some other gifts as well. But you can see, kind of there's the f beginning stage. So that's where it started. That's why I thought, well, I've, why don't I just draw to this? You know, draw to the flat version of it. I don't know if that will show up. So there it is, drawn to the flat. That's what I decided to do. Once I did that, it just cinched it, and then of course that looks not. It looks like a penguin, but not nothing like the cinched version. That's what came out. So I'm just really thrilled with the way this came out, and um, got some great color in there. I haven't updated the artwork. I'll probably do that later on today maybe I'll have some head the head will get a little more shadow there so that's it I'm done um, I'm very proud of this it's it's um, a labor of love you saw from where I started to where I finished and if I wanted to I could even throw a little more shade or blending in there to give it a little more realism but for this purposes it's finished and I'm very excited I'm gonna order my first one uh, and and then I'll show you guys if I get a chance to have it in my hands to see how it looks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll have more and more of these videos. I kind of take my artwork, my talent for granted sometimes. I'm very humble. And I don't really showcase what I do, but it, there's a lot of work that goes into it. This actually took almost three hours, I think, to do. Maybe four or five kind of lose track when you're having fun so um 
just want you to know that uh, I'm here for you. Give me an email, comment below, and I appreciate your uh, subscribing. Thank you.